it is winter, it is time for flannel pants. So I had a lot of fun with this project. I was actually going to change it up a lot more. Um, so I'm going to admit, I did not buy enough fabric to make this pair of pants the way I wanted to, and you'll see it later. But, oh my gosh, it's one leg is green and one is red. How adorable is that? Um, and it was really easy because you just sandwich it together and cut it. But I still enjoy this project so much. So quick and easy. You could make a bunch of these. And the pattern that I picked, you could go um, extra small, which is about this size, up to 1x for adults. And this is the 1x in adults. And that fits me. I'm pretty excited. Um, so I had a lot of fun with these projects. These make a very basic flannel pants. Really, really great project for winter. Especially if you just want to make matching sets for the family. Jarvis, I love you. So my kitten is in kitten jail right now. <laughs> Underneath my camera right now, on the tripod, there is a hamper that I have everything perched on. Jarvis loves being in upside down laundry baskets. So that's currently where he is. And now, while I'm filming, I'm trying to get out. <sighs> anyway, so these are really good projects and I'm really excited about these. So if you want to make flannel plants, please, please watch this video from beginning to end. This is the most simple pattern I could find. And you were trying so hard to get out. Bye. Cats are starved for my attention today, as you can see Ranger's tail. Anyway, so I have flannel pajama pants. I was going to show, um, so I actually stuck with this pattern, but I wanted to say if you have husky needs, this is a pattern that does exist. Um, and it goes up to 5X large, which is always great. Um, and then you've got this one, which is kind of like from small child, or mostly small child, uh, up to um, adults. So I was hoping that the adult, or that the child one, I could put together, and so you would see one uh, piece and two of them. However, <laughs> that did not work as intended. Uh, mostly because I was going to make it entirely out of this green fabric, but I did not get enough. So, one leg is going to be red, one is going to be green. <laughs> so we've got red and green on both fabrics, um, which is okay because I think that would be adorable for kids anyway. So this is going to be the same procedure or the adult pants, which are just an extra large of the same pattern. And this is a small of this pattern. Um, I was going to do extra small and have it all fit, but that did not happen. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Because um, normally when I make pajama pants for kids, the pattern, because of how small they are and how narrow it is, they can just have both of these straight lines stuck together and then just have it butterfly out. And so you only have to do really the inner seams. Um, however, that is not how this pattern is set up, which I did not realize for the children. Um, this was very convenient, though, because the pants for both the children and the adults were on their own separate sheets. So I didn't have to cut out the entire pattern for, two, or for four pieces of the pattern, which was great. Um, and this pattern is going to be too big for you to do that anyway. <sighs> I love you. I'm just not allowed to do anything today, am I? Just nothing. Ranger. Hello, my gorgeous boy. Oh, you're my gorgeous boy. Oh, this does not bode well when I saw you today. I'm modeling this on the child's one, but you it's the same process for the adult. You're going to go ahead and put a buttonhole right here. And remember that it needs to be far enough down that when you fold for your hem, it's going to show on the outside. So I would practice folding your hem down, figure out where that spot is, mark it, and that's where how far down your um, or your buttonhole needs to be. Okay, I marked it up here just to remind me which one was the front and back. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put buttonholes on all four pieces. Remember that it needs to go where the curve is. It's one of those sewing days. Um, buttonholes are done on both sides, and as you can tell, they mostly match. They match. They match. Um, so now I'm going to sew this inner seam and this outer seam together 
red on red, green on green. Okay. Ranger, I love you. Did we get into a catnip? Yeah, we got into the catnip. So, when you have the inner and outer seams done, you should be able to put it in so, like, the buttonholes match, and then you're going to sew this curve, right? And then as soon as you're done with this curve, you're going to flip your pants fully inside out, okay? Now, these tails are okay, because um, what you're going to do is you're going to fold, fold, and stitch. Except you're going to be a little more mindful than I was when I did that. There we go. And then you're going to sew the waistband all the way around. And you're going to do the same fold, fold, sew on each of the leg holes. So let me get those three seams done. And I will show you what both of these look like when they are totally done. One pair of pants is bigger than the other. So these are both done. They look really good. Um, I really like the green and red on this. I love it so much. So all done totally finished less than a day to make i won't say two hours because that really depends on your method of sewing but they're done so as ranger sits on kitten jail <laughs> just so you can get the most impressiveness of this ranger is 20 pounds and he is sitting on top of an upside down hamper which my tripod was previously on and the kitten is just so happy to be in the bottom part of that so, I hope you enjoy my cats being cats. <laughs> and like, comment, and subscribe. Happy holidays, everybody. Ranger. Oh, he's got my big boy. <laughs>